Dead in Hip Hop album review. Little Sims, sometimes I might be introvert. First time Little Sims is in the Dead in Hip Hop chamber. So I will read off a little bit of a bio. So Little Sims is a British Nigerian rapper, singer, and actress of Yoruba heritage. Following the release of four mixtapes and five EPs, she released her debut album, A Curious Tale of Trials Plus Persons, September 18, 2015, through her independent label. The album entered the UK R&B albums chart at number 20 and the UK independent albums chart at number 43. She released her second studio album, Stillness in Wonderland in 2016. Her third studio album, Gray Area 2019, won Best Album at both the Ivor Novello Awards and the NME Awards, as well as being nominated for the Mercury Prize. The one that we are reviewing today, sometimes I might be, might be introvert, is her fourth studio album. I think this is the fifth studio album. Yeah, I think it's fifth. She was originally recommended, and the way I caught wind of Little Sims was a uh, gray area, right, Ken? Yeah. That's the one that was recommended. I forgot who recommended that, but we did it uh, via DE365. If you don't know what that is, make sure you follow the Dead and Hip Hop podcast. Me and Ken release an album review per day, mm. and on Sundays we do singles. So I was already introduced to Little Sims, so I had very high expectation level. Why ain't you wait, listen wait. to my recommendation, bro? Huh? Yeah, Why ain't you listen to my recommendation, yeah, bro? Was, I listened. It was in my 2019 year end yeah. album, uh, Gray Era. I, I mean, thought it was. <laughs> this is her fourth, fifth? Fifth. Okay. Cool. I, I ain't He's like, you. like you did fifth floor. I know, right? I know, fifth floor. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, BZ, for yeah. putting it on your end of year list. Um, but we also did it as DE365. We did the whole album. Um, and... That really had a, a, a very, it set a very high expectation level for this. Every expectation I had or thought that she was gonna do, she, she blew that shit out the motherfucking water, bro. And let me tell you, Ken, now, now you know exactly where I'm gonna go. The moment I looked at this track list and I saw Cleo Soul, mm. I said, oh, I already know this mother. I know this album is about to be something completely fucking different. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. bro. Amazing. She, Amazing. She, she's part of um, uh, Salt. Yes, a group called Salts. They, who is also who are also amazing. During the lives, mm -hmm. a lot of people would say, "Hey, Ken, you know," and I think they were even telling you, "You guys should check out Salt," and probably be too. You guys should check out Salt. You'll love them. Mm -hmm. And it's really about all caps. S A U L T. I think so. Oh, yeah. S A U L T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. thought it was S A L T too, mm -hmm. and I finally got around to listening to them, but it was after Cleo Soul. Yeah, yes. yeah. The Salt is is incredible yeah. too. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and it was the it was the chat like they every time they would say, "Y'all, we got." listen to them they will put me on put me on put me on and and yeah they're they're right cleo because i put my wife on to her and i said look i know this sounds crazy as fuck but she's really a combination of sade and erica badu i don't know how the fuck that shit works but she's that fucking amazing bro i'm not i, I bullshit right. you not mike you, you bro uh, i'm gonna listen to it when i get bro i'm a fucking her amazing right, she, cool. she's amazing so when i saw her name as like a like a feature, I said, "Oh man!" Like and she was featured on Selfish and Grayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was I was commenting on that on her feature on that album, mm -hmm. and then in the Reddit they were like, "Yo, if you like her on that, you'll mm -hmm. like her on this," and mm -hmm. then we kind of went from there. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, like the way that this thing starts off with introvert, bruh, with them fucking horns and how aggressive it is, like. I was like, okay. And then what's so crazy about her as an artist to me is like her voice isn't booming, but it's so commanding. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But there's there's such femininity and such feminine energy in how she's rapping and everything. Just she really blew me away and I really felt like she set the tone for the rest of the project. And then when Woman comes on with Cleo and how Cleo is doing her thing, I was just like, damn. Let me let me say this, like as an overview, like just from a creative, she didn't leave anything to question. And what I mean by that, like every possible place that you could have added something or be creative in, she did that. From a production standpoint, like even on introvert, like the fact that the beat starts slowing down at the end. Like that, that is like super nuanced. The beat changes that she had throughout this motherfucker. It's like, like a lot of the people, I, I've been seeing it on um, Twitter and social media and stuff. They're saying that we're going to love this shit. 
they were one million percent right. Like this, like this is by far one of the best albums of 2021. By far. She 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 captures a lot, man. You know how I always say you if 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 it's gonna be an artist that I really back like that, like I gotta know a little bit about you. Like you 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 got you gotta be open. You know what I'm saying? I gotta like feel who you are as a person and you get that. And the way that she speaks out from a woman's perspective too, like she, she's fucking amazing. This project is amazing. It's been nonstop since the moment I put play on this thing. I haven't stopped listening to it. I got a quick question for you, B. How, how did you find her? One of my homies, they recommended me to check it out. Um, I think it was somebody on Twitch. One of my homies I gang with had mentioned, mentioned to me about her some years ago. Yeah, this was my first introduction to her. I had, mm. I had, at least I, I don't think I had heard anything mm. um, from her. If I'm being honest, the first listen, man, I, it didn't. I, I don't know. I, it wasn't. It, mm. it just. It just. It just didn't hit me like that on my first listen. And because I don't know what I was expecting, mm -hmm. but I wasn't expecting this for some reason. That first listen was was challenging, but then I listened to it again, and I was just like, now that I got that the jitters off of, of like the of a new artist and everything. I was like, yo, this shit is really good. And then um, and it kind of gave me Rhapsody vibes, the Eve album that she came out with, with the whole, you know, really that feminine energy you're talking mm -hmm. about. It kind of gave me gave me that at first. Again, once I started listening to him, I'm like, nah, this is her own thing. This shit sound big and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, yo, what the fuck was I listening to the first time? It, it was really weird. I was like, why didn't I hear this the first time? And I don't know if it was something I was doing or what. But I was like, I can't even hear that anymore. Whatever yeah. I heard before, I can't even hear it anymore when I listen to the album. I'm like, yo, this is really fucking good. Like the two, like uh, like the production on this, like you said, the horns, all that is great. Um, two worlds apart. Was, is that a is that a Smokey, Smokey Robinson, Robinson sample? The, the agony of ecstasy. Oh. Agony. The agony of ecstasy. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I thought that was actually him on there. For I a did minute. too. Because I was like, was damn, they got sample. Smokey on this motherfucker. Because he was giving right. too many oohs. I was like, this Bro, can't be yeah. a sample. You got him. Smokey, man. You all right with me? Rip, shout out to the producer Inflow because he oh, did okay. Gray Area and he did this album. Yeah, all of it. Fucking the whole, amazing. The whole yes. thing? Mm. Yeah, I mean, like maybe with exception of like one track or two Majority tracks. But okay. he he he, he put his foot in this whole album yeah. and gray area. Yeah, so yeah. shout out to him. Yeah. He and I was gonna ask you. And then you talk about the beat switches and stuff, which which I think is dope too, because like it's not just like a, a total beat switch on some mm -hmm. of them. Some of them is just a beat switch on the bridge. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, oh, that's dope. Like it's just a beat switch right on that bridge mm -hmm. part, and then she comes back in with the original beat. You know, I can't yeah. remember which song it was. Standing it, ovation. Standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew what you was going. Standing ovation. Yo, stand ovation, yo. though. <laughs> I was just like, yo, this is crazy. When I tell y'all when I first heard this, I was just like, I don't know about yeah, this. Yeah, I was about to be like, you tripping? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, like if you was gonna stay with that, that's why, why, I, like, that's why I had to set it up like yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah. You gotta let it work. I had to yeah, let it work through yeah, it too, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that's why man. I had to set it up like that because because it was an honest feeling. This is new artist to me. It was it was new, so it's just like I had to kind of like, okay, all right, what was that? I was like, no, let me play this. Let me play this some more. This shit is good. I love you. I hate you. About her like, father? I, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then I, I even know. like the interludes. The interludes are beautiful. And they, and they, they fit so well. Yeah. They're not just, oh, I'm going to put this interlude on it connects here. That, it connects like, like for instance, know. like the Little Q part one. It goes right into Little Q part two. Mm -hmm. It's not just an interlude. It's a part of the music. It's a part mm -hmm. of the whole aesthetic. It just flows so well, man. This is a beautiful album, bro. Yeah. I enjoy this. I'm going to be playing this. And I'm going I'm to have Nay listen to it, too. Oh, one more thing. Oop. The uh, on point and kill. Did, did a guy sound like for real to y'all a little bit? He sounded like for real to me. Very know, sounds, not right there. Different than, that was the sense. first listen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, <laughs> first, right, right, right. Because right, right, right. right. when I heard right, it just right. then, I'm like, yeah. that's what yeah. I said. Is oh, this yeah. album is weird to right. me? It sounds different. Like I don't know, man. Yeah, first yeah. listen, I'm like, that's yeah. for real. Now yeah. you're like, are you for real? Right. You stupid, <laughs> you stupid as hell. Stupid. I can't wait. <laughs> Don't do that, B. You got even a dad. You got to let him sit in now. I know, right? <laughs> I fucking love this album, man. Like, I, after listening to Great Album and, and loving that album so much, I, I was kind of like, damn. And Stillness in Wonderland is definitely a dope album. If you haven't checked that out, go listen to that one. Um, yeah, after Great Year, I was like, damn, what, what, where is she going to go now? Like, well, how is she going to top this? Man, she topped this shit with Flying Colors, man, mm -hmm. with this damn album like this. This shit was crazy. The fact that, you know, you got so much different type of production where you got like big sympathy horns type mm -hmm. shit. Then you got some good soul for shit like, you know, two worlds apart. You know, mm -hmm. I see you. 
Um, I like the fact that she reached back with her Nigerian background with um mm-hmm. with Fear No Man with Point Point and Kill and Fear No Man. I thought I thought those tracks was uh dope. The fact that she she could sing too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that she did mm-hmm. that. And she gave me some eighties vibe with Protect My Energy. I thought that shit was was that's dope the that's the singing one, right? She was yeah. that was her singing on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh my yep. god. So, yeah. And I think the way that she marketed and promoted this album was to me was kind of like an old school feel. Cause she dropped the sing, she dropped like three or four singles for this before mm. the act. I know, you know woman, woman, woman was one of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah woman yeah, was the yeah, second yeah, single. Yeah, yeah. So introvert was actually the first single. So mm. she released introvert back in April. Oh, in June she released the, the, the second single. How they used to do back in the day, mm-hmm. like the single come out like in March, but the mm. album don't come out until like November. Like she was really promoting this and doing this like an old school way. So I think that was one thing that really caught my attention. Cause I remember she had tweeted out like, you know, don't worry, I know it's been quiet, I'm coming or whatever. And, Bam, the first single hit. And then she had a, uh, the uh, NPR Tiny Desk mm-hmm. concert during that time. So at that point, I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot wait for a fucking album to drop. But yeah, man, this shit, man, the fact that this one producer like tapped in and gave her so many different type of sounds, you know what I'm saying, throughout so this, this whole one project. producer. One producer, man. Wow. Like, it's crazy. And like I said, he produced majority of um, Gray Area yeah, as well. Yeah. He, he did the whole thing, but yeah, Miles James yeah, it was like and some, Jake Wobb yeah. were... Co-producers Thanks on two other tracks. Yeah. yeah, man, Inflow, man, shout out to you and Lil Sims. I like the fact that she gave me the introspective stuff. Like I like, like I said, the love and hate you. I love that she was talking about, you know, even on Introvert. Like she was like really mm-hmm. peeling the layers on Introvert on on, on that joint. Um, the, the last even couple. on Introvert, oh, yeah. she was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little Q Part Two. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I love them joints, man. Like it didn't even feel like an hour and five minute album. Like after listening nah, to it, nah, it, it was just like. Nah. I was like, damn, we already at that. How did how did you get here? Like like how she was just pretty much talking about like how she, you know, how music is like her passion. How she overcame a lot of stuff. Like I'm like, yo, man, little Sims. Clothes with Miss. Oh, yeah, man. the flows that that Sims always have on here, man, didn't did not surprise me at all. I mean, like I said, this was definitely a bigger approach than when she did on Gray Area. And Gray Area was a fucking amazing album. Mm-hmm. I think she knocked the shit out of the park with this one. Is amazing, man. So yeah, woman, you know, her salute to uh, to uh, black women. I think that was. That's definitely dope. Cause yeah, when you mentioned the Eve thing, I was like, I didn't get that vibe at all. Yeah. But yeah, man, speed, yeah, stand ovation. That's definitely one of my standout tracks too. Because like you, like you mentioned about the beat, having that break in the in the chorus, and then coming right back when she start, when she gets to the other verse. Yeah, this shit was dope, man. This, this shit speed was, was probably amazing. my least favorite though. Sweet, really? Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn, you See, bugging, bro. You know, from yeah. like from a production standpoint, there are two other projects released this year that I feel was as eclectic as this, and it made it fit as well as this mm-hmm. Grips project mm-hmm. and Kenny Mason's project. Those are the only other two that I've listened to that are super loud, mm-hmm. different, unique, eclectic, and they flow amazingly. Mm-hmm. This is one of the best albums I heard this year. Every time I listen to it. I, I want to make that proclamation that's the best album I heard this year, but Cleo Soul's Mother album is, is pretty fucking amazing. Shout out to Nicky Ducey. Nicky Ducey was actually the one that put us on the Cleo Soul. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the one that put us on there. He, the, 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 the boy got a little something, you know. You got a his, ears something. A little, his, his ears might be all right. They might work they, there. They work a little bit. Yeah, they work a little just bit. A little but, bit. Uh, just a little just, bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think FIFO opened uh, accurately is in terms of expectations. Cause I knew I loved that joint, and when I was listening to, it, I was like, "Man, B, B was spot on with this one," and it's top five. And I hate that I wasn't in the moment with that one. I'm glad I'm in the moment with this one. And um, and I haven't listened to all of her stuff, so I'm gonna check out the one that you mentioned. Goodness in Wonderland. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna check that one out. But I think this is like the the total package of all of that. Uh, everything that at least the the other one that I heard. It feels like. Whatever she was doing before, it feels like this is like, yo, this is like it. Have you listened to all of her stuff? Mm-hmm. And I feel like if you like this one, you'll really, really like Stillness in Wonderland. Because okay. Gray Area was a departure. Yeah. Really? Gray, gray Area was more aggressive, which is why that's still my favorite. Oh. This one is more soulful, whereas like Stillness in Wonderland was the same kind of soulful. Ah, okay. So you should I definitely listen that. to that one because you will, if you like this so much, you will love that one. And I love the balance between like all the different sounds on here. Um, from hip hop, so um, I'm, I'm I'm with you, be on fucking protect my energy. Like I was thinking loose ends, that type of damn yeah. shit. The way that shit was grooving, man. Cameo, I was like, like that, man, yeah. cameo. That shit was, was yeah, man. going, man. And I think just the narration, like how it's all threaded together, um, her storytelling, 
Um, Cause like, she's an actor too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah apparently yeah, yeah. so, yeah. The way she was talking about, like, the whole situation with waking up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. They said she was out two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm like, a little cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? I, I see you. It's probably, that, that hook, I think she was doing the hook on that. Man, that shit was was fucking amazing, man. Like, and again, these interludes, Rod. Right? I'm, I'm I'm with you, man. Mm -hmm. Like the way they kind of bridge these these mm -hmm. things together as as extensions of songs or or intros into songs is is really uh, interesting. Like mm -hmm. they're real big and 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 theatrical. Mm -hmm. It's just like how are you able to kind of really pull this off in a way to make it interesting. Like these people are just talking, mm -hmm. but yet you're still able mm -hmm. to to you know hold my attention. It's a fucking amazing album, man. Now I understand why so many people were asking us to review it. They were like, yo, you, you guys going to do Little Sims? Because this is one of those albums that that need to be discussed and need to be highlighted, mm -hmm. um, especially on, on, on a channel uh, like ours and what we do. I know she's getting covered everywhere, mm -hmm. but, you know, there may be people that haven't been put on to her like like I wasn't, you know, and, and you know. Yeah, me too. On yeah. I see your name yeah. all the remember, time. I, remember I was fighting it when we were deciding about West Side. I was like, we should do a little I know, over there. I know. We made that decision on the live, yeah. you know. <laughs> and I think a lot of the people helped drive that because they kept asking for it yeah. so much, man. I, I really understand why. Um, she She's definitely... Um, fucking amazing, man, for real. Yeah, I think when you wasn't here, he was pushing for it. Mike was pushing for it. So, yeah, like, I was like, okay, who was this little Sims person? I keep seeing the name pop up. And I remember when you put it on your top or mm -hmm. whatever. And I, I, and I always meant to go back. And I just, this is one of them things. Yeah, both of them did. were talking very highly about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think that I put it on my top. Yeah. But I was definitely like, yo, this album is incredible. But at that time, I hadn't heard Stillness in Wonderland. Mm. I'd only heard Gray Area. Mm -hmm. But now that I've listened to her full catalog, yeah, this one seems like she went kind of, not backwards, but she kind of used the sound that was more familiar on Stillness in Wonderland than on um, and, Gray And Area. what's crazy about that one, she had a lot of different producers on that album. Like, it wasn't one producer. I think it was a bit more experimental, it was a bit more mm -hmm. weird, and it was a bit more aggressive, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Because she had, like, distortion and stuff like mm -hmm. that on mm -hmm. tracks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like, she, her <laughs> flows were just mm -hmm. weird yeah. on that album. I was like, yeah. damn, she's fucking dirty. Yeah, I went back and listened to that, too. Because I was like, after after I had that experience with this one, I was like, oh, shit, like, I got to go back <laughs> and listen to the other shit. Because I remember yeah, yeah. being on his, so yeah. I was like, all right, I've been fucking up. Let me go ahead and go ahead and listen to that, too, before the review. So I went back and heard. I was like, "Oh, that's different than this one." Like I told Ken, I think you should definitely go back and listen to Stillness. Cause oh yeah, for sure. I'm going back and listening to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This was an incredible listen. Um, the way it starts with with uh, with Introvert, great beat, and her flows were just. She just sounded so comfortable and and just mm -hmm. incredible, man. And and she immediately had a line. She says, um, "I don't want to doctor this, but if you can't feel pain, you can't feel the opposite." And I actually think that's the best line of this whole album. I was like, that mm. is just an incredible line. And from there, I was like, all right, well, clearly we're going to have an amazing project here. I was a bit <laughs> surprised to hear that it was so different from Gray Area, which I think is actually dope because she's not she's not being able to be mm -hmm. boxed in. She's mm -hmm. like, I can do a whole bunch of other shit. Mm -hmm. But I Love You, I Hate You was mm -hmm. incredible. You know, her talking about despising her father for the shit that he did, but still being like, well, I still have to love you because, you know, you're my dad and, you know, some shit I can definitely relate to. But when she said, I never thought my parent would give me my first heartbreak. Mm. It's like, God damn, your pen, your pen, the way you say shit is just fucking incredible. Speed is actually one of my favorite songs. I'm I mean, I'm not surprised you didn't like it, but I mean, um, Speed was my favorite one. Like, am I tripping? Is that one of the ones that wasn't as big production as the yes. other ones? So it yeah, was that, very stripped back. It yeah. had a very simple beat, but mm -hmm. her flow, like it had yeah. these this weird bass sound mm -hmm. and these kind of sound effect type things yeah. going on. See, but, it came off jarring to me in the album. Like not too uh, jarring, but it came okay. off because I, I was so used to the the beautiful big production, and then when that came on, I was, it kind of took me took me back okay. a little bit. So yeah, I mean, I might go like I go back, I might love it, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But the, the the few times I've listened to it now. It's always a bit jarring for me when that one comes on uh, because it's not, it doesn't sound like the other productions. That one sounds yeah. more like Gray Area. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. But see, I, I like Gray Area too. So so that's what I'm saying. Like I, it, here, it just was off to me a little bit. That's yeah, because it yeah, sounds yeah. different than the other songs. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. But mm. yeah, I, I really, 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 really love that song. The rapper that came to T mm. was just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. and that's probably my favorite one. It had this like really cinematic feel to it. It felt very positive. Mm -hmm. um, you already but, know I was feeling that I shit. know. I'm sure you were just like <laughs> my shit. Yeah. But Gems too. I like I like gems. I have no idea what that dance was. No huh? idea. 
I can't see myself, but I know it was whack. So I, I think you turned it white. There. I think you turned it white. I did turn Cause white. Because you said, what you say early? What the bitch? What the bitch? What the bitch? What the bitch? He's turning into a white man. He is. <laughs> what the bitch? Now he's like. <laughs> yeah. Arms into whatever the fuck they want to do. But yeah, and the Rolling Stone was probably my, my favorite song on here. The beat was just super duper duper hard. Her flow was nasty. The way she slows her flow down on that second verse was really, 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 really dope. Misunderstood was a great song the way it ended mm -hmm. with Misunderstood. It's a good closer. You know, you, you've heard rappers do the whole miss, misheard, misrepresented, that type of thing, but I like how she did it. Two worlds apart. We gotta talk about that second verse where she changed her flow up. It was like she, I think it was the second verse, where she started the verse off with like one flow, but then in the middle of the verse, she changed it to a completely different flow. The beat didn't change. Mm. Which that was the part that I was like, damn, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. She's rapping one way, then she completely flips it, and she's rapping completely different on the same verse with the same. Mm -hmm. I was just like, wow, this is fucking dope. But yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this project. I'm not sure yet if I like it more than Gray Area, just because Gray Area is more my speed with the weirdness and the experimental that. feel to it. The way her pen works, where she's very, very, very vulnerable. But at the same time, she still comes off like you're not gonna break me type shit. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. So yeah, this is a great, great album. So for me, give me introvert, give me woman, give me standing ovation, give me rolling stone, and okay. give me I love you, I hate you. The two for sure is standing ovation and and um and two worlds apart. And then I'm gonna fill in with I love you, I hate you. I'm going to go sure. misunderstood. I'm going to go misunderstood. I like how she closed it. Mm, okay, I'm going to go stand ovation, two words apart, misunderstood, little cute part two. Oh, yeah, that was good. And protect my energy. Uh, my favorite tracks are I See You, hmm. Woman, Little Q Part Two, Protect My Energy, um, Standing Ovation. Ooh, okay. God damn it. That's Smokey Simple, though. Oh, my God. Wait, that's two worlds apart? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's what, that's no, no, saying. two worlds that's apart. Why, two worlds apart. That's what Ron was saying. Go ahead and say it. That's why he was telling you. Go ahead and say it. 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 Go ahead I'm gonna say you're amazing. This project is super amazing and continue to do what you do because the culture needs it. So I appreciate it. Little Sims, if you're watching, if I wanna first of all say you have a new fan. Um, not only am I a fan, I'm going to pass this on to my wife and see if she likes it just as much as I do. And, you know, anybody else that, you know, asks me for recommendations, people often ask me for recommendations. So this is something I would be recommending to people. You're amazing. You're amazing at rapping. You're amazing at singing. And I'm assuming that you're amazing at acting as well, because the way you can uh, construct these interludes and tell these stories. This was definitely a really, really, really good listen for me. But um, overall, um, thank you for this this project. I will be continuing to listen to it, and I'm gonna go back and listen to the record, the rest of your catalog. So yeah, thank you for a good project. Little Sims, if you're watching, thank you, thank you for this amazing project. Um, this is definitely, you know, had a potential to it's gonna be like a, a, a album of the year um, candidate. For me, been a fan of you since and still stillness in Wonderland and you know, like I said, gray area, you you made it in that year and I just want you to keep elevating, keep being creative. Like I said in the beginning of this review, I didn't know how you was gonna top gray area and yeah, you you, you top that shit with this one. Just, and I think Mike mentioned it, the fact that you can you not boxing yourself in in no particular style or anything. You you can you show that you can do it all, you know, from singing your own hooks to crafting different flows and your songs and your verses and everything, and having a great ear for beats. Like I said, shout out to um, Inflow. Whatever you do next, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And that's dope that you got some new fan, new fan here right here that's uh, ready to support you as well. So keep up the great work. Little Sims, if you're watching, uh, you know, I, I actually looked through your discography on here. I know you have mixtapes, tapes, but I know there was one like on here in Apple Music that was out in 2015. It's just crazy that she's been around this long and I haven't listened to shit. I've heard her featured all this stuff, so I've been fucking up. But uh, but I'm on board now, and I I remember before we started recording, 
you know, I had to go go in the back. Cause I was like, man, I, I gotta get the iPad. Can't be out here with the iPhone. That's disrespectful. <laughs> like, you know, if, if your shit good, out. had hey, to pull man, that shit out. Hey, huh? <laughs> if I got the iPhone, your shit probably not good. <laughs> if I got the iPhone, <laughs> I ain't fucking with your music. But uh, but like Rod, man, I was I was actually thinking about this when I was um, driving in. How high quality this album is, um, and the nice blend of of music and sounds and i've been sharing a lot of dope shit uh, a lot of r&b shit with with other people you know um and i haven't done that in a long long time and i was like this is one i think that's in the hip-hop space that i could share mm-hmm. you know with some some of my in-laws my older in-laws and stuff like that and and even the missus man because i think she's that amazing that other people need to hear her it is not like one-dimensional type or what rap is known to stereotypically be like this is like some really good fucking shit. And like B, man, shout out to Inflow, man. Uh, I didn't know that was a producer until he mentioned it, but um, you did an, out, uh, an outstanding job as well. Yeah, this is fucking amazing. And yeah, I'm, I'm a new fan. Little Sims, been a fan for a minute. I'm really enjoying what you're doing. This album was a bit of a surprise and I really, really liked it. Great job. I like how vulnerable you are. I like how honest you are. Your flow patterns are really, really, really impressive. And you definitely have a great, great ear for beats. So I can say great job on this album. I really, really, really was impressed. And for everybody else, if you haven't watched it, I really enjoyed that interview you did with uh, Fantano. I thought that you're very humble. You really respect the craft and you're very thankful for the platform and the outlet that you have. So I, if I wasn't a fan before, like that shit really, really sucked me in. So if y'all haven't watched that, make sure you go check that out. But yeah, man. Little Sims, I cannot wait to hear what you do next.